making our bathtub into a bathtub and not a jacuzzi bathtub, we're going to make it a shower. So I got these uh, brass pipes on um, Amazon and we're going to also put it, I got a conversion for the tub spout and two that will bring it in a diverter into these pipes. So we're installing those and I'm just screwing on the fittings right now trying to get a good seal on them so let's show you that. So this is a two piece pipe, 3 8 inch threadings. So we got a, it comes with this 3 8 inch with a like a washer in the middle and then this is a 3 8 inch thread, uh, threading and then they screw together right here, but I'm not going to do that until the end. And then, um, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, three inches. And then, um, where's, where's the piece I dropped? I dropped a piece somewhere. Where'd it go? Alright, so there's the, that piece is. I'm trying not to drop this stuff here. I have stuff everywhere. I have it. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So also, it has this. It's a slip um, brace. So this connects to the wall, and this just threads in, and it threads into here, wherever you to help support the weight of it. So what I'm going to do, you can go to the, from the side of the wall, but I'm going to end up going through the ceiling. So I don't have to build out the wall any, hopefully. So this just slips on over this. And then um, wherever you want it, position it. I'm gonna position mine up here. And then you tighten down this little screw so it doesn't slip around. And then wherever you mount it, it threads, it screws, this screws in after you mount it. So for support. All right, so there's that piece we're gonna do last. Okay, right now I'm in the thing. Did I drop it again? No. Okay, so right now we're gonna focus on getting the pipes connected here. So I already did these. Had to make a little horseshoe. All right, so forgot to record it, but I'm not gonna undo it. It's very simple. This is a half inch pipe. So I got my new thing for the shower, okay? So, before I put this on, <laughs> before I put this on, it just has a plastic half inch pipe that sticks down. I'll show you the package. <sighs> so, see? That's what it looks like. Before I put anything on there. So that has like a half inch, just plastic piping, okay? And it's made for, you know, bathtub shower, handheld shower. But I'm making it a regular shower. So I need to pipe it upwards for a pipe to go up the wall, right? Well, they had, first of all, they had them already with a pipe on top, but it was towards the back. So, um, that me and my, so, the reason why I couldn't get the one that already had it with the pipe in the back sticking upwards was because the threading was in the back. And my bathtub has a four inch pipe that needs to be covered. So, I needed, I didn't want to be cutting pipe because you never know if you need that length again so I just didn't want to cut pipe so I found one that I don't have to cut the pipe it has adapters so I'll show you it's um it says fits most tubs spouts uh, and it comes with adapters inside of it so to be able to screw on to most any pipe 
So this came inside of it and I just unscrewed it out because I don't need it. And then I bought two to make this U to connect to this plastic piece. Hopefully I'm, I'll make it sturdy enough where there's not pressure on it because there's going to be pressure on this plastic. There's going to be. So I got this U to attach here. So I've got a half inch L 90 degree and another half inch 90 and twisted them together and then attached it. The reason why I don't want to take it apart and redo it is because I put this liquid. I am using the liquid plumbing stuff because this stuff, I have really good luck with no leaks. It's pipe thread sealant. Um, it's really, you just, um, I use Teflon and this combined and it seals really, really good. So yeah, I don't, I'm guaranteed no leaks. So that's why I don't want to undo it and re-put it on for y'all. Uh, I should have thought about my camera. I'm just still too new to this stuff. <laughs> Anyways, anywho, so I got 290, half inch 90. So the 90 is a female to male. So the 90 is a female to male. And then another 90 that's female and male. And so I just joined them and made a U. And then, because these shower things are notorious for when it's on bath water, it's going to come out the shower part too. It just does. Because it's, it's just on. It'll dribble out the shower part. And I don't want that. So, I went, uh, got a, a valve thing so I can turn it off when it's not being used and turn on when it is used. So, and here's the lever. So when you pull it up, nothing's coming out of the bath water. But when it's down, it's going to come out of both. So that was why I needed one of these. Plus, it'll give me more height for my pipes. So, because I have, I have to create some height now that I had to drop down and go up. And that's just how you do that. And then we're going to, I'm putting it on now so I don't have to worry. It's easier to do it now than do it while it's attached. And then, um, to help it out here because this is plastic and this is going to weigh down probably on that plastic. Once I get the shower pipe, there's a, a wall mount that helps support it and it'll relieve a lot of that weight on this so it won't be weighing it down that's why I'm not going to install this until I get that because I don't want it to pull on the plastic pipe that's extending right here so yeah so we're gonna once I get the tall pipe in which won't be for a few days because I got it used I love getting used but new on the Amazon I do that for a lot of things I didn't I got used but new on, um, what was it, on a few things. I got the shower pipe thing I'll show you. Um, this I didn't because I wanted all the pieces. So, but I got used but new on a, a fitting. Like, you are pretty much guaranteed that this is not going to be coming damaged, I guess. There's thread. The threads are good. It looks good. So, that's how you do that. That's what I'm working on. It's going to look good. So, it's all half inch right now. Half inch, half inch. The iffy thing is the, the shower pipe itself has, um, I think, a 3 8 inch. So, one of these is a 3 8 adapter. 3 8 inch adapter. I'm not sure where it went to. I think this is it. Yeah. So if it, I got it just in case. So it goes half inch to three eighths. Just in case that pipe that I got needs to see. Just in case it's three eighths or half inch. It, the, it just wasn't clear. Sometimes it's, it says in the reviews half inch pipe at the end threadings. And then the other review is like, no, it's 3 8 inch. So I don't know. So I just got both. I got an adapter for a half inch, an adapter, just a one for half inch, and then a conversion to 3 8 
a reducer. That's what it's called, a reducer. So, okay, I'll show you when I start hooking the rest up. I think it looks pretty, like, steampunk. I have a steampunk bathroom. Looks pretty cool to me. Oh, because this is 3 8 inch, but it's a different type of 3 8 so... I, the only fitting I found that would go from 3 8 to a half inch is this brass, or this copper like lagoon. So I needed it to go from 3 8 to a half inch. But it doesn't th want to thread on more than two threads. So hopefully I got this stuff. This stuff usually is a miracle worker. I put it in here. It's liquid like sealant. So it's putty. It like leaks into wherever you need it. So I got that in, and then I have a one inch extension because I need it to be raised high enough to attach to the ceiling. So I got a one inch extension also I'm fitting on. So trying to tighten it as much as I can. This thing is hard to grip while you're tightening this because it wants to roll. So I have, this is really nice to try to hold on to. It's like a rubber uh, shelf gripping stuff from dollar store I keep for opening jars and holding on to things that I really need a good grip on so they won't spin in my hands. So we're gonna try to just get this as tight as we can and hope <clears throat> and hope that the yellow gunk with the Teflon tape works. If not, I'm gonna have to <clears throat> figure something else out. But and let's see it's spinning in my hand. I can't get it not to spin can't get it not to spin so that's just that so I got the yellow gunk in that all that so let's let that dry and hopefully hopefully we got it good here huh I mean it went it went it threaded maybe two turns before it won't turn anymore and hopefully the threads aren't wonky inside. The only other choice is to get a plastic 3 8 adapter to a half inch and then do it that way because plastic you can manipulate like it'll you can strip it however you need it to be in a way. But hopefully that's good. We'll see. We'll see when we plug it in. So that's an extension. I'm going to take it over here, and then so this will go onto this. Now everything's perfect. Now all these threads, everything will match up. So I'm going to see, and I'll go right, right about there. So I'm thinking, thinking I won't need uh, to extend the roof the ceiling. So I'm going to. Put all those on. I gotta do that. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna let that goop dry though. We, got, we wanna let this goop dry real good in there. Hopefully it does what it should do when I have no leaks. That'll be marvelous. Marvelous. I don't know if I should put it on the outside. I don't know. Don't know. I'll just keep it like this. Okay, and then I got clear shower curtains. When that's done, hopefully that works. And then I got a bunch of, cause I'm not tiling my walls, that would just be expensive. This is cheap shower makeover here, not expensive shower makeover. So, and even so that it's cheap, it's running about $200 for all the pipes and stuff, but that's very, really, really not too bad. And that's including the curtains and the curtain rods. So I just bought enough shower curtains to make like an old fashioned tub, um, you know, shower curtain where it would surround it, the whole space to cover the walls up. So I got four of these. Four of these will do it and two rods. <sighs> and some support sticker things to put on. Now so for the pipes. Back to the pipes. So. We got the, all those thingamajigs put together. Now we're gonna put this 
thing. I already did all the pieces. And let's put this on. So let's see. Let's, this is really cheapy Teflon tape, gotta tell you that. I'm gonna wrap it a bunch of times. I have the good stuff for when it matters, so this stuff's okay. This is okay. All right. Okay. Now we're going to. So, see this piece? We gotta get it in there. So, once we get this on. Start screwing this on. Then we got to fit. Let's see what we do right here. There. Now, let's turn it. One more. All the way around. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. We did it. That's a little bit of gap, but I don't care. There's that. Let's see. There. That looks good to me. We're going to measure this from here to the ceiling to see where about before we attach it all the way where about they need to put the brace up top. So now that I have the brace up for the shower pipe, we're gonna put this, because I only dry fitted the pipes together. We're gonna put the pipes together permanently now. Hopefully it works. So let's start, start with the thinking these plumber's tape. So let's put the tape on and the rubber stuff. Okay, now let's let's go. Let's go. We're gonna this all on real good. There. That's perfect. All right. That's on. Now let's put flower tape on this one. I put the Teflon plumber's tape. We do a lot. Do a lot of it. I do a lot of it. Right. Do a little of this too. Right. And then let's get this on. Okay. All right. Now we need to put. Now we need to put this go up here. Now we go up here and do that part. 
All right, so now we gotta thread this. This has a, the connecting piece has this rubber gasket thing that goes inside. So it has a little hole through it. Let's see. Let's put some, I gotta put some Teflon tape on this. So we put this on. Let's just get this one on. So we're gonna go just like this. Let's go this way real fast. One more. One more turn. One more turn. There. Alright, so we got the pipes on real nice and tight. Hopefully we didn't mess anything up because there's some plastic in the tub spout. So let's get the top hooked on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook this top part on there and then we'll see if it worked. If I have leaks. If I have leaks, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> Plumbing goodness. All right, I did it. It's done. It looks awesome. Here, I'll turn it on and show you. And then we just gotta put the shower head on. So there's that, right? A regular bathtub, and this is an on-off thing if I wanted to do that. And there we go. Look at that. No leak. Hey, y'all, so I got the part in that I needed to finish up this shower conversion. And so one last step and then we can put the shower head on. So let's get to it. All right, where's that? Let me all this jazz. All right. So we have a one foot rod that, so it's, it's 12 inches long, which is a foot. And we need it to, this goes to the wall, screws in the wall, and then this clamps around the pipe to stabilize it because it's kind of just, we need that because right now we have, the only thing that's holding it is that. And so it goes down, 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 and then to the rod itself right here. But there's no stopping you in. This is just in the drywall. There's no stud. So I don't like that. But um, if someone fell and moved it, look at this little movie. It moves. So I need to make this firm where it just can't get knocked around. So if y'all, I want to know what it is. I got it off of Amazon. It's just called a wall bracket. It's, it's, um, it has a two-piece clamp because I want to be able to take it you know, you want the, they have the ones that are circular that you can uh, put on, but then you, if you ever needed to take a pipe apart, you'd have to take the whole thing apart. So this, there's two pieces, so you, it'll it clamps in between, so you can take the pipe apart if you needed to. But it's uh, here's the info on it. I don't know if you can see the information. 12 inch long wall bracket two piece clamp um, so here's another picture of the bag I don't know I had to search for multiple things to find I stumbled upon this I just typed in two piece wall bracket for shower or bathroom and that one finally popped up. So I got, it works perfect. I do. So this has a hole that goes all the way through. See? And so if I just drill a little bit into the wood to accommodate for the extra length, that'll be perfect. It's only a little bit. I don't need to take a hacksaw to it. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna figure out where we need this though first. 
All right, so I was gonna connect that rod to this thing above, but this thing above is not even in a stud. And I'm trying to find a stud now, and I, I can't find a stud. It's irritating me. Like, is there not a stud here? We're gonna, um, we're gonna measure from where I know there's a stud and see. All right, let's, okay, right here where I didn't poke a hole, let's see. Um, I found the stud eventually. <laughs> now we got to, we're gonna, I'm trying to find another stud. I found one stud, so let's see. I think another stud will be about, so it goes 16 inches, maybe off center. Hopefully, see if there's a stud right there. Let's see. Where did I, I lost my marking. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's try it. I just want to find my studs. Right here. Let's try it right here. Yep, found the stud. All right, we well just need to find the stud. So I found that one. So it's usually 16 inches off center. Got, I had a couple of misses, but all right. Got it figured out. So let's mark where our studs are. Where's my pencil? There it is. All right, let's mark right above where my stud is. And right here is my stud. All right, I got three areas to screw in. I'm gonna go cut this piece of wood. I want to make it look even, so I got, I don't know, I think I like the colors of this, so I might not even paint this. Let's see. Of course, we want to measure. Make sure I cut it evenly here. So we got we got seven inches on that side. Let's do seven inches on this side, and we'll cut it at the seven inch mark right here. Make a line, seven inches. About right here. I got the wood cut to put up. Now I'm going to pre-drill the holes so we don't split the wood. And then I'll get this done. All right, so I got my markings here. Let's see. I want it to go right like that. So let's do this. We got do one right here, one right here. All right, so got all of our screws started. Now I think, for some reason I thought that would be a stud, but it, I'm not sure. So that's okay. All right, so let's, Get this in here. And now let's go ahead and screw this in. We're gonna do the center one first. my wood trim 
and everything. I just put mineral oil on it. Or just mineral oil it. See my wood trim all around. So there's a wood trim here. There we go. And then my curtains right here are yellow and gray. So it matches nicely. Change your drill bit out. Don't need this drill bit anymore. I love, 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 love this. My, so for years I had a corded drill that had a chuck. And so the chuck, you know, I have it hanging on a string. I still don't use it, you know, because it's more powerful for some things when you have it plugged in. But anyways, the chuck is hung. I tied it on a string and have it hanging from my drill so I don't ever lose it. But cordless ones are awesome because you don't need a chuck and you don't need a cord. Alright. No. Remember, I don't want to hacksaw this because it's only like this much. So I don't want to waste that energy. So I just drilled a hole for it to be able to go in. Get it bigger though. So I mean, the hole's not big enough. before we secure the pipe. Lightly screw it in on both sides. Now, stuff like this, you you don't want to tighten the screw all the way. You want to tighten each one a little at a time. So you don't just want to tighten one fully before you tighten the other. So tighten a little here, tighten a little here. You want to do that on all things. Just a little at a time, so you get evenness, you know? Alright, now we're going to tighten the hole, this thing right here with the hex thing. I'm pretty sure it's like a hex thing. Okay, so let's slip it in and screw it, tighten it, and these ones, is I'm going to tighten as far as you can get it going in there. There's three of them, okay? I'm on this. It's really, this is made very well. Alright, this is not going nowhere. Yes! That's way more, oh my gosh, it's so much sturdier. So much sturdier! Oh, now I don't be afraid of someone knocking this off. This is awesome! All right, look at that. All right, here we go. So much more sturdier. Like it's, it's exactly what the shower needed. So I only had one up there holding that. <laughs> but that's perfect. Hopefully I didn't cause any leaks moving this. <sighs> that would be not good, but that's perfect. Doesn't look too shabby there. Now we just gotta get the shower head on. Shower head from Amazon. Everything's from Amazon, I'm telling you. It's interesting because I get 
Things that could get cheap at a store are expensive on Amazon, but things that are expensive in stores are cheaper on Amazon. Hmm, go figure. So, what's this thingy? I think it's an Amazon one. Com combo pack. Um, I don't know if serial number X. Uh, I can't even read that, so I'm just gonna see if you can focus on that real fast. This thingy. It was the cheapest one that was deliverable to California because California has water flow restrictions on all their stuff. But the fact thing is, is I can't use that because I'm on a well and I don't have pressure. I mean, it's hard for me to get pressure with those things. So, uh, I mean, people in city water, of course, but with me, I, I can't use those flow regulators. All right, it also comes with a shower. Uh, so let's get that hooked up. Oh, it came with a loofah. Nice. Good. Put that for stocking stuff. Alright, so it comes with this thing first. I think I put this on. This turns. Okay, so you turn this. If you want to do the sprayer. So, sprayer, shower, or sprayer. So it's, it gives you the opportunity to have both on one all the way on and one so that's interesting let's put that i believe that goes first according to the instructions how am i going to reach that i can't reach that i can't reach that i should put it on down here i can't reach it way up there we're gonna have to put we're gonna have to redo this we're gonna, have to, <laughs> we're gonna have to switch it up. I should have put it down here. I didn't know this had that. I should have put it down here, but. Oh, I might end up redoing it. Hold on. All right, it, this thing has to go down here. There's no way. I can't put the, sh the shower spray thing way up there. All right, let me redo this. All right, so what I ended up having to do to fit the shower head thing on is I had to take this off. I had this plumbed in just in case water ran while the bathtub was on through the shower, but it wasn't doing it, so I didn't even need it. So um, I had to take it off because it was just too tall with it on. So. What I did is instead of installing it up there, I did it down here, and it's cool because it's a bathtub and it's easier to wash my hair or something if I wanted to wash my hair, you know, and not anything else. So yeah, and I just gotta put the roof thing back on, but no leaks, so got that done. Got that done. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and install the ceiling part back up which is just putting it back in the screws and then we'll put the shower head on all right so i can't find the attachment to my hacksaw blade so i'm just doing it by hand it's not i mean not no ain't no thing but a chicken wing you know what i mean so just make sure you get a good notch on it and we'll just pull it easier if I had the tool I just can't find it I don't want to do with it but you know what I'm ingenuitive it means I can make tools work that you wouldn't think would work for those things just takes a little bit longer and my bolt cutter I have a bolt cutter but it would uh, it would mess up the threading so I can't use that there there haha <laughs> did it okay that's good it's good how's it going my love I got it oh good I had to redo it oh because well, I kind of had a little leak down there. It was kind of just like, oh well. But since I had to redo it, it fixed the leak. So, oh. um, what I had to redo 
Yeah. You're seeing the final touches, honey. Cool. So, this is a diverter for the shower yep. nozzle. Well, it's meant to go up here. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't reach it. <laughs> it's so high. Oh, right, yeah. I, like, I would never be able to reach it. Plus, I mean, it'd be nice to have it down here for me to wash my hair anyways. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, it's better anyway. Yeah, so I had to take this apart. Well, I didn't really, because this was holding it for me. So I just had to Undo take the, ends. the top one only. Mm -hmm. And then just unscrew that. And I had a little leak right here. And when I took it apart, there was a metal shaving in there. Oh. So. That's why. Yeah. Here's yeah, so lovely. now. Look at my, my things came in. Oh, your sand disc? Yes. Came? So and I'm just your... now doing that, getting finished touches. And then this movie came in. Okie dokie, so I'm all done installing it. And so what I did, just, I don't know if I showed this, but I have a clear curtains all the way around. So really inexpensive. And I chose clear so I can see the walls. And then I have a window here, of course. But yeah, all the way around. And then so I have the curtain rods here and I attached my cape, some speaker wire, <laughs> copper speaker wire. And it blends in and put it that on that way. There it goes, all the way up here, and then all the way down to the holder, and down, and so I got that, that works real good. And all I have left to do is install the holder for it, so, and it's just a sticky thing, it's pill and stick, so hopefully it holds. So I'm going to pill and stick, like right here, I think, or right here, so, and then... That is done. I can't wait. Here, I'll turn it on and show you. Let's turn it on. So we got, um, there's the bath. And then you pull this up. Ah, of course. <laughs> there's that, right? So, I'm be spraying myself. I don't have that hooked up yet. And then the diverter makes the shower go on. You can do half, half and half. Or full shower. There we go. Good pressure and everything. It's a rain shower. It's awesome. Okay. And turn it off. And everything works. Good. I had a small leak after I changed out the um hot the 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 mixer inside the hot and cold water mixer, but now it's gone. So once it stops, the leak's gone. It just resolved itself. So that's nice. Okie dokie. So that's how you do that. So on to the next project. You know, it's fall. So I got all the projects lined up. I got to get done before the holidays. So I'll just talk to you later. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Okie dokie. Peace.